Good morning, guys. And what's on the table today? What's on the table today, guys? We got a new product in. From Tam Cold Clear. Alright. Tamco Clear is out of Virginia. Um, Tamco Clear is used um, as a high solid clear on um, on vehicles. It's a really, really good clear. It's a thick clear. And uh, I went to I looked at a lot of um, videos that Tamco had that how how Tammy was explaining um, the Tamco clear and uh, this what was in the box they send you your your mailing your packaging slip uh, went I went to their uh, website and they had like a lot of um, webinars on the Tamco Clear. Um, the 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 Clear that I'm using today um, is 2104, and it's a high solid clear. And that was in the box. And they sent the Tamco sticker, and also they sent sent they sent a. A magazine, a Tamco magazine. So, uh, like I said, I, I listened to a couple of webinars that she did on a 2104, saying that the 2104 uh, should be sprayed with a 1.2 tip. Um, just educate myself more on a high solid clear. The normal high solid clear that I was using was wet, wet. Um, the last thing I used my wet wet with was my 96 SS Impala. And, um, so I went back to a high solid clear and I wanted to try the Tamco 2104. They have a 2105 and with their webinar, she has a, um, 4100 clear also. And she was just going over, just saying how to put it on and a difference in clears. Oh, I like that. I like custom clippers. I think I um I think I wouldn't mind doing a custom pair of clippers because I have a I have a pair of clippers I just bought probably like last year and the reason I bought them because they had a custom face on them. Yep, they had a custom face, so I'm not a barber or anything, but uh like I said, I just cut my son's hair um, because COVID came and, you know, we were trying to stay away from the barbershop, stay away from people, trying to keep the, you know, stay around the house more. So I had bought a set of custom clippers. I have these and I really like the, the graphics on it. The graphics on this thing is nice. I'm not really a skull guy, but um, I picked these up. I think these was like maybe... 20 bucks. I just wanted something that was wireless that I didn't have a cord. And the other ones I got is corded and it's another adjustable custom custom looking clippers. I just like cool clippers. I'll show you those. These was another set. These was uh these was a designer series that I've been using for like three years. And some of the graphics were off. I might order another pair and then put some clear. So I have a lot of custom clippers. And I have a gold clipper. I really wanted a gold set of clippers. Just to have them because they looked good. So I might I might end up doing me a, a custom pair of clippers in the near future. Sorry guys, I don't know if you heard me. But like I said, I might end up doing me a custom set of clippers in a new future in, in the near future but i like i like custom clippers like i said i just i just took it on just to um stay you know stay out of the barbershop and um stay more more near the house just trying to keep the kids safe like i said like 
and they like getting their hair cut in the house instead of going to the barber shop. But we might end up going back probably a year from now. Probably going back. Oh, this is a this is a an older magazine. So like I said, I went to some of their webinars just to make sure it's going to get applied correctly. I like the helmet. That's pretty sweet. That is going to get applied correctly uh, to the vehicle. Um, this is going on the 87 Cutlass. Um, I did the test drive for the 81 Cutlass. Um, I'm going to reshoot a video. Uh, the video turned out great, but in the video, the hood one popped. So, um, I'm going to just redo that video. Like I said, I've been busy for the last few weeks. I had a couple of projects that I had taken care of that I didn't record. It was a 2009 Escalade. I had to put the door handles on it. Um, I had to, to run to Wisconsin and, uh, and move a vehicle that I purchased to another location and I'm going to pick it up. Um, I'm going to pick that vehicle up probably within two weeks. So I have that that be adding another project. And then I am. Uh, I am. That's another project, another Chrysler 300 that I picked up that I'm going to buy and just fix it up, make it uh, mechanically sound, turn around and sell it. It's a I believe that one is a 2008 or 2009 vehicle that I picked up. So like I haven't dropped a video within the last three weeks. I haven't recorded any videos within the last three weeks. Um, I had some studying to do. I had a couple of tests I, I had to, I needed to take. Yeah, a couple of tests that I needed to take. So I had to get those, uh, get those videos. Um, together I love when uh, companies brand their sales I'm big on branding with the companies that I own and I'm glad they got their own paint sticks has a Tamco paint sticks they have stickers and then like I said they got the the filters I'm all into branding branding and marketing uh, I see a lot of shops that use Tamco Mr. to get it in there uh, Candy Paint Killer, uh, Far Away Customs, uh, the guy that just painted the the maroon Monte Carlo and put those nice yellow and, and red stripes on him. What is that guy's name? Can't think of that guy's name. And I and I watch the guy on YouTube a lot. I like that. Um, I like that guy. I might have to look him up before the video's out. Maybe you guys can go check him out too. I like his work. Also. got today we got the Tamco medium productive hardener that's the HH 7605 this is the hardener and like I said this is a um, I got this hardener because of the temperature that is going to be when the car gets painted that's the only thing we have been waiting on that the temperature um, gets a little better because it's been pretty cold. It's been pretty cold here. This the uh the medium urethane reducer, HR1370. And I got the same 75 to 85. Uh because I seen 70s kind of 70s next week, 68 to 70s next week. And uh, you know, we I'm ready to get that thing sprayed up. And back home so I can finish the build. So this is a medium productive hardener. That's HH7605. The same temperature. And what we got. This is the 2104. It's a Euro clear. It's a high solid content clear. 
So uh, they asking for two parts. Um, 2104 and one part activator and 10% reducer. And it says two to three coats within 10 minutes for last time between coats. And like I said, I was watching her webinars and um, but she was showing that um, that with the uh, Tamco, she was seeing guys that was shooting it with a 1.5 and and it 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 orange peels at 1.5. Let's see anything else is in the box. Nothing's else in the box. Nope. So she said better to shoot it at a one two because it's it's a thicker high side of clear and pound it on the um and pound it on yep and pound it on and um another guy that i've been watching lately is the guy that's painting the convertible cutlass uh i think his was a 72 and that's gonna be another one if I build it, I have a 70 convertible cutlass also as a project that I'm going to build. I really don't know a color, but that orange that was on Candy Man's vehicle, I'm really leaning towards a orange original cutlass, orange with the white, with white interior. But I love green. I'm a, uh, I like the, the green the green also I love a green so I haven't decided on what color that I will paint the 70 model cutlass I haven't decided what color I'm gonna paint it like I said earlier when I was talking about the 81 colors like I said it was the 81 colors that I I found uh, it had been uh, had been sitting since 2014 it needed a couple of mechanical things done to it I knocked all the mechanical stuff out made it made it uh, look look okay under the hood made it mechanically sound on that 81 um, cutlass I um, cleaned up the wire harness I put a belt tensioner on it uh adjust the valves painted the valve covers um i did opti spark plugs wires uh, i put race gas in to clean the cylinder walls out in and top of the pistons uh change the oil in it change all the fluids stuff like that tighten up some loose stuff that was on it like I said, I just bought the car to, it's a rust-free Mississippi car. And I just didn't want the car to be, um, to just be sitting there and someone can get them a rust-free um, G-body. And rust-free G-bodies are hard to come by. Very hard to come by. A rust-free G-body is very hard to come by. So we're going to use this product, this Tamco 2104, on the 87 Cutlass. Uh, I'm telling you, the body works and it looks nice. Um, he's been doing pretty good work on it. And I'm ready for it to come back and I can knock it out and take care of it. Because I really want to make the G-Body the G body Fest this year. I want to, I want to try to make it there. For just a little vacay time see a couple of different g bodies hang out have fun hopefully a couple of my friends can take the road trip because it will be a road trip i'm not i don't think i'm going to pull it um pull it there it'd be a road trip turn the ac on turn some music on and uh and get a good cruise in stop places get a couple of things to eat uh have some laughs some different conversations network you know, things like that. Get out and, you know, have some fun. Uh, 
So, like I said, today I officially put the cutlets up for sale and I had made a video this morning. I just didn't like it because the hood didn't pop on it. And I wanted to show you the guys, the motor that was in the 81 cutlets. Like I said, it's a 96 SS Impala motor. Um, vehicle runs good. Really good vehicle. The interior is nice in it. So, if you guys can... Uh, I, I think I posted a couple of pictures of the interior on uh, YouTube. So you guys can go to my community page and look at the, the, look at the, um, look at the, the inside pictures. So I officially put it off a of sale. I did the, a good test drive this morning jumped on the expressway let it get the operating temperature jumped off jumped back on drove it drove it around and gave a walk around but i would do another video on it and get it here on youtube because like i said it's it's officially for sale and like i said one of my friends came by and picked up a project that i um had and he's going to finish that one off because i, I just bought it to fix another vehicle and he wants to pick it up and finish it and give it to his uh his girlfriend as a gift um so i'm happy that uh he's doing that clean that out the way and um i got a few more um vehicles that i need to finish this year so this is the update on the 87 colors clear we got tamco we got the Tamco Clear 2104 here, and we're ready to get this thing painted so we can get it together and catch a couple of shows. And I have to get my number one spot back at a, at a specific show that I'm going to try to win next year. So, guys, that's a quick episode of what's on the table today, guys. I've been gone for a little while. Like I said, I had to do a little studying, but I'm going to get back to dropping my videos and I'm thankful for the thousand subscribers and hopefully this channel will grow. All right, guys, you have a good one.